but I want to just talk about Matanat Levinim, which will be done on the day of Purim. So it's very interesting. It's the most underrated mitzvah of Purim because uh, a lot of hoopla is, is attached to um, the Mishloch Manot, the meal, um, the Megillah, right? But uh, the Rambam says that if you have a choice of where you invest your money, which mitzvah of the four you're going to invest your money, beyond, which of the three food mitzvahs or the gifts mitzvahs you should invest your money in, it should be presents for the poor. This is his language. It is more important for one to distribute more gifts to the poor than to spend a large amount on one's feast, meaning the su'ud of the meal, or to send mishloch manot to friends. For there's no greater and more splendid joy than gladdening the hearts of the poor, orphans, widows, and converts. One who gladdens these downtrodden souls is comparable to the holy presence of Hashem himself, as the verse states, to revive the spirit of the downtrodden and to revive the soul of the oppressed. So it's worth definitely paying attention to doing this mitzvah, doing it right, and being generous with giving presents to the poor. Now, we do it on the day of Purim because it says not in the night, in the day. It says these are the, on these days we give uh, presents to the poor in, in the Megillah. It says in the day. Um, and uh, the reason why we do it is, number one, like the Raman says, to support the poor also. So they have, if they want to do their own suda, their own meal, they have uh, with what to do it. Um, there's a difference between Mishloch Manot and gifts to the poor. One difference is that Mishloch Manot, it's good that the person knows who, received, who they received it from because the whole purpose really is to enhance camaraderie. So if they don't know who gave it to them, you're not achieving that purpose. So presence to the poor, it's, it's okay if it's anonymous. And so what we do, um, either you can find somebody who needs it or you can donate, uh, bring it to the shul and we'll make sure to distribute it on Purim. You can give it also before Purim so it's distributed on Purim for you as well. Um, one more difference between uh, Matan Levinim and Mishloch Manot is that um, Mishloch Manot obviously is from, from food, and spe- uh, but not from money, and Matan Levinim is specifically from money. So Matan Levinim, the minimal amount is, uh, it's very minimal. You have to give two, two uh, co- contributions to one person, but the more you give, obviously, the, the better. And they say on Purim, it's good not to check too much, uh, you know, what, what, what the, per- the person is really needy or not, just to be generous on Purim. And the whole idea really is to be as uh, welcoming, as inclusive as possible on Purim, because uh, some say that that was the sin itself on Purim, that we were, dis- we were not united. And uh, when we're not united, we're not strong. We're not strong, we're susceptible to many different things. So we need to stay united right now, especially keep giving to each other, keep including and keep enhancing a spirit of togetherness now and through Purim and going forward.